Hello Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we're taking a look at the Windbreaks by ARB. This episode is made possible in part by generous supporters on Patreon. When we purchased our camper we chose the optional ARB awning that's about 8 feet square. Later we purchased two ARB windbreaks that attach to the awning, the front windbreak and a side windbreak. The windbreaks are polyurethane coated poly cotton ripstop canvas and they're fully waterproof and offer a UVP rating of 50 plus. This is the front windbreak by ARB Touring. This one is the 2500. Ours looks a little bit different up here at the top. You see that there's a flap and there's a zipper on the underside of it? The ARB front windbreak does not come with that. Yeah, that flap on the windbreak, that's not standard equipment. We customize that out of necessity. The front windbreak attaches to the awning by sliding into a channel that's on the awning's front brace. Somehow, when removing the front windbreak at home, we ripped a long slash into the material that's around the plastic part that slides in, and there wasn't enough material to sew it back together. The ARB room has a separate piece that slides into the channel and it has a zipper that attaches the room then to the brace of the awning. So I had an idea. Let's buy that separate piece that's for the room and I'll sew it on to the front windbreak and then we have that piece that can slide into the channel again. So we ordered that part from an ARB dealer and sewed it on and it worked. It's a little bit shorter than the width of the front windbreak, but it still works really well. Five adjustable straps and stakes secure the bottom of the front windbreak. Now let's look at the side windbreak. The side windbreak attaches to the awning arm that's on the side of the awning and is held in place with large Velcro straps. Four adjustable straps and stakes secure the bottom to the ground. During our stay this spring in Lincoln National Forest, there was a lot of wind that was whipping around, very gusty wind. And when we were taking down the windbreaks in the awning, the awning arm was so bent that it wouldn't telescope back together. Bill bent it back enough to stow the awning, but the pole was shot for future use. We contacted a local ARB dealer to buy a replacement part, but we couldn't find the part number. The dealer called ARB, and ARB sent a new awning arm to the dealer for us at no charge. That was pretty cool. It wasn't too much trouble to put the new part in place, yay, and the awning is back in business. We have some ideas on ways to support the awning arms so that the side windbreak doesn't bend it down again or bend it again, but we haven't settled on a fix yet. If you have an idea, we'd like to hear it, so please share it in the comments. One thought is a vertical brace from the center of the awning arm to the ground. And that's probably the most straightforward fix. However, when it's really windy, we snug the long table close to the back of the windbreak. And a vertical brace would block us from being able to do that so much. So we're considering other means of support, like some sort of PVC brace that would be light and rigid and packable. We do like the windbreaks. They do their job of blocking much of the wind. We think they'll be helpful, too, in the summer to block a lot of the hot summer sun. A pleasant surprise of the windbreaks is how much heat they hold in when we're using our little portable fire ring. It stays really toasty in there. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.